no, I usually go on tangents, but this this just got me. I've, I've never seen anything like this. Damn, bro, you I that mad? And you know what got me? I'm even- mad too, nigga. J. Cole, you embarrassed hip hop. You embarrassed the rap community. I'm not even a part of the rap community, and I'm upset. Nigga, every rapper should ban J. Cole from doing a song with... Y'all yeah, shouldn't bundy no rapper with no goddamn J. Cole. Hell no. Nigga, he apologizing to the niggas for dissing him. When they start doing that in hip-hop. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I don't care nothing about no issue. I'm trippin' against sick. I don't care about no nigga. Cut these niggas to be flakes. I don't stun nobody, bitch. If you do that, that's a man. See, we drippin' like the fox. And I just put on my pretend. Nigga, I was selling drugs. Bad with niggas. They was... Now, yesterday was the Soul Eclipse, bruh. For y'all that don't know what the Soul Eclipse is, it's when a goddamn moon blocked the sun. I think that's what it is. But yeah, bro, my bad for the glasses, you know what I'm saying? I seen the Soul Eclipse yesterday. I had these glasses on when I seen them. I was looking up at the sky like this. And you know, uh, shit happened, man. It was cool, bro. It was kind of cool. It got dark for like a quick second, for like 1.5 seconds, and then it was, it was bright outside again. I was like, what the fuck? Everybody was hyping this shit up like it was about to be dark for two hours. What the fuck happened? But anyway, bruh, we about to get to this video. It's over. J. Cole is an embarrassment. Now, yesterday we did a video about J. Cole getting on stage apologizing to Kendrick Lamar. Why did he do that? I have no fucking clue. I'm not apologizing to nobody that did the diss song on me, is you? I don't think so. But we finna get to the video, bruh. I appreciate y'all. We just hit 800 subscribers. 800, bro. We gonna keep growing, bruh. I appreciate y'all for showing me the support and the love. We finna get to this video, bruh, and why J. Cole is an embarrassment to hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? They need to kick him out of hip-hop. J. Cole, go somewhere, bruh. You know what I'm saying? We want to see some negative shit. Some, uh, some diss tracks. Not no physical negative shit, but I want to I see some diss tracks. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to see a nigga on, pop, on, on, on stage apologizing and shit. But we finna get to the video. What's poppin', y'all? You know, that Drake, uh, that, Cole, actually, that new Cole drop the other day, somebody was uh, messaging me on Twitter or replying to me on Twitter, said, man, I got to talk about it. Of course, I was going to talk about it. I mean, I wasn't going to break down the lyrics or anything. You guys can do that yourself. But right. <laughs> frankly, I just saw the news and I'm disgusted. I, I had to boot this up immediately. It's 1.45 a.m. I was going to go to sleep, get some beauty sleep, wake up early tomorrow, start my day. And I opened up Twitter. And I thought I could have swore this was fake. So I open up Twitter. I see a Pop Crave tweet hop up on my For You on Twitter. And it says the following. J. Cole reveals he regrets dissing Kendrick Lamar on his latest project. The lamest ish I ever did in my effing life. And I'm like, wow. I had to check three times. Is this a parody account? What, what's going on? <laughs> I open up the clip. I can't play the clip for you guys. It's from the Dreamville Festival, which I sincerely hope fails every single year after this. What one. the? F- it sounds like hate, but you know this is just an emotional outburst for me. All right, I, I, I gotta, I gotta let this off. Hey Cole, why would you apologize? Why would you do that to hip hop, bro? Biggie and Tupac would be disappointed. You know what I'm saying? Why would you apologize, bro? You don't apologize, bro. You go on that. You go on, on a fucking record and say what you said. He already said what he said. So, nigga, what you apologizing for? You ain't got nothing to be ashamed about, uh, nigga. You ain't a, you ain't do nothing wrong. The nigga dissed you. You dissed him back. Fair game, bro. No harm, no foul. You know what I'm saying? Fair exchange is not a robbery. This is something I it disgusts me to my core. So I can't play it for you guys. It's an Amazon thing, but it's two and a half minutes, three minutes of J. Cole. Pretty much the medical, the metaphorical. He turned around, bent over, and dropped his pants. That's exactly what. He did. <laughs> what? Because what keep the in mind, fuck? Cole has only shown love to Drake and Kendrick from what we've seen in the past, almost to a degree where he's bending the knee to them. You know, on some like, oh, Jon Snow, you will bend the knee to the queen. Like he's bending the knee. He's like, yeah, man, I'm just, I'm just so blessed to be in the house with you guys. Wow. It's just so amazing that I'm here. I can't even believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm on the team. shame. I'm, I'm so shocked. And his fans are riding for him harder than he rides for himself. They're like, nah, bro, you belong there, blah, blah, blah. And why I'm mad at myself. Why I'm mad at myself is because just the other week, you guys probably remember a video I did where I'm like, yo, Cole is not even on the level of Kendrick or Drake. And I, I said this. I said, yo, who? They're not even on. He's below them. And then people Damn. are like, nah, man. You, you know, like, how are you going to say that? You're tripping. Drake, now he definitely rapper, below them. Cole, this and that. And I'm like, you know what? Cole has been dropping. He, he consistently. I checked out the mixtape. The mixtape was hard. I'm like, yo, I, I should reevaluate. And I, I deserve that. 
for not sticking to my guns and being open-minded. See, that's the problem with being open-minded is you end up with situations like this. When mm -hmm. you're open-minded to someone and he spits in your face. Cole just spat in my face. He spat in all your fa all his fans' faces, all the people that be riding for Cole in the comment sections on Twitter. I don't ever want to see you again. If you have a Cole profile picture, I might just block you. Because, I mean, Yeah, guy... J. Cole, bro, you got everybody upset, nigga. What you doing apologizing for? You don't apologize, nigga. You make a diss track back, which you did, but you don't apologize for making no diss track. Drake would have, I said this yesterday, Drake would have never did no shit like that. Nigga diss Drake, he dissing they ass back, and he ain't apologizing for it neither. So, J. Cole, I don't know what the fuck you doing. You bullshitting right now. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, as a matter of fact, you need to drop a song right now. Drop another song apologizing to all your fans for pulling that bullshit. That's what, we, that's what you need to do, man. Just... So, I'll get into a little bit of detail. He said, man, the lamest thing I ever did, you know, people were saying, oh, what are you going to do? This and that. I had to, you know, drop uh, a couple of songs. And, you know, just these other two guys that I'm blessed to chase their greatness. It's like, what? And then, <laughs> keep in mind, this is Dreamville Festival. This is North Carolina. This is where he's from, his city, his festival. You know what he does? He's like, oh, how many people in Dreamville love Kendrick Lamar, man? Yeah, like, <laughs> make some noise for Kendrick Lamar. The guy that just dissed you out of the blue when you've shown him nothing but love. He says, right. the big three. You send a warning shot towards him, and before he even responds, says anything about it, you're breaking down on stage. What is this? And I had this to, is crazy. Man. I also said it on Twitter where I regret this. I'm not deleting the tweet, but I regret this. I said, man, Drake ain't even responding yet. Which the sentiment I still have. I'm like, man, pack it up. Like he is, is he's not, he's not up there with these two guys anymore. He doesn't want to compete. But after seeing what Drake did, <laughs> there is no big. It might just be big me and Kendrick's right because Drake hasn't responded yet, and Cole just pretty much scored on his own goal dude knocked himself out mm. you guys seen that recent clip of this really really fat overweight like uh fighter or something this woman and she just walks into hey, the cage yo. Or she just runs into the cage and she knocks herself out and she loses to this woman yo imagine training shit because they, they be training for a long time for these fights imagine training and doing all this shit and you wind up losing because you knocked yourself out what the fuck is you doing bro that's crazy she didn't even have to swing on your motherfucking ass. You just took yourself out. Weight class than her. That's what Cole just did. Drake has been MIA. We don't even know what he's doing. He just finished his tour. People are whatever. So it really is just Kendrick. And he all he had to do was drop that verse, and he just hit two birds with one stone off of this. I don't know what Drake is thinking about this because he's probably just laughing because this is going to be the subject for so long, and this is something that Cole can never, ever, ever recover from. If he realizes he's wrong and he tries to come back aggressive in any capacity with anybody, we're just going to laugh at him. Like, he's right. a joke. Because he <laughs> is a joke for saying this. Hey, Kendrick comes out of his way to diss you. You catch some strays with Drake. And then you decide to defend yourself and you hop on and you apologize for defending yourself. What part of the program is this? This is why my GOAT, yay, my GOAT, Wayne, they would never, ever. Right. I need you to reevaluate. Well, Wayne, my GOAT too. Kendrick Lamar, you out. Oh, my bad. Not Kendrick. J. Cole, you out this shit. You ain't no fucking big three, nigga. You eliminated your goddamn self. We ain't no fucking big three. Matter of fact, put Drake in that combo. I said Drake. Put Lil Wayne in that combo now. He a part of the big three. Kendrick suck. Why am I keep saying Kendrick? My bad, bro. I ain't, I don't mean to do nothing. I don't, don't diss me next, Kendrick. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no problems or nothing, bro. I meant to say J. Cole, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you going in the studio and dissing me, bro. I don't want Cole. no trouble. I mean, it was never mine. So we just need to pack up Cole. If Drake comes back, we might have a, a top two again. But there will never be another big three and never a, another top two. It's, it's over. Cole has put the nail in the coffin for how he's going to be looked at. Hey, this is on the level. It's not on the same level, but this is how we felt when we saw Dennis Rod, not Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Whoa, let me not put disrespect on Dennis Rodman. Hey, that yo. Man in North Korea twice. Shout out to him. When we saw how Scottie Pippen was being treated by his wife and then apologizing to her for her cheating on him and, and doing all this nonsense, we, were, we just became disgusted he did that for with real? Scottie Pippen. And that's the level of disgust I feel right now for J. Cole. He's like, why did you even drop the song? You can't even stand on it. If you make a mistake, let's say you did believe it was a mistake, which it's not a mistake. Oh, they want to see blood. Man, nobody's seeing no blood. There ain't no right. beef. You just decided to defend yourself. And this is the first time he really gets tested. He's like, man, I feel like I'm moving how I was moving in 2013, moving wrong. And my people are going to be mad about this. They better be mad about this. Cole <laughs> will never be able to beat the glaze, deriding accusations. He's just a guy that's j just made it in and he's so excited. And I, I feel I don't feel bad for Cole at all. Mm -mm. Zero zilch. 
The guy is, he's a loser. He's got imposter syndrome. The guy's been in the game for Say he a loser. Years. He was signed to the Jay-Z. Also, I wanted to congratulate him recently because he's not even with Dreamville. It's Cole World and Interscope. So he's like independent with his own label deal right now or a partnership with Interscope. Nobody really talked about that because we were focused on the disc. But I can't even congratulate him on that anymore. So, Mm-mm-mm. man, my, my thoughts are so scattered. I had to like laser focus in. I know I usually go on tangents, but... This this just got me. I've I've never seen anything like this. Damn, bro, you that mad? And you know what got me? I'm mad too, nigga. J Cole, you embarrass hip hop. You embarrass the rap community. I'm not even a part of the rap community, and I'm upset, nigga. Every rapper should ban J Cole from doing a song with. Yeah, I shouldn't ban you no rapper with no goddamn J Cole. Hell no, nigga. He apologizing to niggas for dissing him when they start doing that in hip hop. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what J. Cole doing. More irritated. It's the people that are making comments like, oh, we love that he's self-aware. And people are like, yeah, you know, he knows Kendrick uh, is is better than him. Oh, we, we uh, it's just not in J. Cole's nature. It's not who he is to, to diss. I'm glad he acknowledged that. They're calling him a punk. <laughs> oh yeah like it's just it's just not in his nature to be competitive he's just like a punk he's just a little chihuahua like he might bark now and then but you know you can put him down quite easily he's, he's easily tameable he's not even on the table with these other guys <laughs> you know what's the funny thing about know, this? we got jt jt and glorilla are going back and forth we had Nicki minaj and what's her name megan well we had Nicki minaj and cardi b going back and forth uh. a lot but we had Nicki minaj and megan the stallion yeah going back and forth we've got female rappers that are more competitive and standing on business than the guy that's supposed to be the big three can you believe this yo (laughs) can you believe this an apology to saweetie and i think i somewhat did a video about this before when saweetie said the girlies is running rap she might be right i mean it wasn't including her but yeah she might be right because if this is what the big three's doing pack it up pack it up kendrick was right and you know i like kendrick and i like cole and i like drake i've always said yeah, bro, it ain't no, it ain't no more big threes, bro. The girls running this shit, matter of fact. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas need to step up y'all game, bro. One of you niggas need to uh, release a fire album or something, bro, to get y'all back on top because the girls on top right now. I'm not bullshitting. They beating y'all niggas by a long shot. You know what I'm saying? They getting at it. They standing on business. They dropping their diss tracks. They dissing each other back and forth. You know what I'm saying? They being competitive. They, 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 they vibing. You know what I'm saying? They taking over. So what y'all going to do to get back in the game? Y'all just going to let them run rough shot over y'all? I know y'all ain't letting that slide, bro. Drake uh, and, uh, and, 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 and J. Cole and what's the other third, what's the third person? I don't fucking know. But Kendrick Lamar, he just shut all you niggas down. Y'all don't say nothing else. It's over with. Just retire. Yeah, hang up your music career. He just killed it. But yeah, we finna get out of here, bro. If you enjoyed that reaction video, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. And I'm out of here, fam.